when it comes to Crusset Hitch, basically what we're putting is accessory cord around a host rope. Accessory cord in this case, eight millimeter uh, Crusset cord around 7 16 or half inch rope. Now, there was a time when Prussics were tied predominantly with a double overhand bend, but lately all the rope manufacturers are producing Prussics in what is referred to as a bound loop Prussic. And this is a bound loop Prussic. Basically, this, the Prussic is sewn, and you can kind of see the stitching right in here, and then covered with. Um, they put a tag on, an ID tag, and then that with some shrink tubing that goes on and protects the whole thing. When I go to put the uh, Prusik on the host rope with the bound loop Prusik, I'm going to take a bite with the, with the, where the sewing is, and I'm going to wrap it around one, two, three times. And then when I pull it up, I don't want the sewing to come to the very end. And I'm going to dress this Prusik like so. Okay. Now, when I dress it, the bite goes to the center and the bridge, this is the bridge, goes to the outsides. So you can see that the bridge goes to the outsides. And the nice thing about a Prusik hitch is that if I push the hitch, it easily slides on the host rope. But if I go to pull on the bite, it locks up with circumferential tension. Okay, when it locks up, it will hold roughly about somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred pounds until it starts to creep a little bit and then you will notice some creeping it will look deformed and out of shape and then ultimately you'll see a big slip somewhere in the three thousand pound range typically between three thousand and thirty five hundred pounds you might see about a foot slip and some glazing on the rope but normally the Prusik, if it's in good condition and relatively new, will be fine. One of the things about the Prusik hitch, when you put it on, just remember that when it's time to reset your system, that what you want to do is, instead of dragging a really tight Prusik on the rope, bend over the bridge loosen it up a little bit and then it makes it really easy to slide and then when you get ready you're going to set it again put some weight on it and pull it tight the Munter hitch is important friction hitch that we use for belaying single person loads so we start with the Munter hitch by twisting it so I form a loop and I can either go this way and clip these two or I could come this way and clip these two. It doesn't really matter but I'm going to get this bite the rope in the middle of it and I'm going to clip these two reversible friction hitch.